But to start off, I'm going to say grow some butter beans, y'all. Because really, butter beans are just, they belong in Texas gardens, in southern gardens. They grow so well. They are so easy to grow. They're adapted to the heat. They taste good. I know a lot of people, you know, butter beans and lima beans are the same thing. And a lot of kids, you know, our age, were, grew up on lima beans from the number 10 can in the school cafeteria. And I think it gave everybody a really, you know, when you just empty them from a can and heat them up, they are not very good. But when you grow them in your garden, they are delicious. And you can grow them and eat them fresh, or you can let them dry on the vine and save the seed and then have butter, you know, cook up butter beans in the winter time. So uh, here's a few varieties that I, uh, that I grow all the time. Uh, Henderson is that white one up there at the top. Doesn't that look good? And then Dixie Speckled and White Speckled, those are two other you know, old time varieties. Um, that these are, both, these are all bush varieties. And then if you're looking for pole varieties, uh, Siva beans, which are sometimes known as civi, Especially out in like uh, Charleston, South Carolina, in that area, they call them civvy beans, S-I-V-V-Y. I think um, Thomas Jefferson even grew them. So speckled calico is the one on the bottom. That is also known as Christmas pole lima. And then um, the other one is uh, king of the garden. So it's a real big uh, kind of meaty bean, and then also this one called Violet's Multicolored Butter Bean. I got, I have purchased that one from Southern Exposure Seed. And these, you know, if you let these dry in your garden, they will just reseed, reseed, reseed. <laughs> um, oh, especially this one, Worcester Indian Red. Um, this one has a kind of an old-fashioned trait that when the the shells, when it dries up and the shells open, they kind of pop and the seeds, the shells shatter, the pod, the dry pods shatter and then the seeds fall out or fly out. Sometimes I've had these beans, you know, just these dried beans sitting on my kitchen counter in a bowl and all of a sudden there'll just be this pop and then it goes up and it lands on the, you know, in the sink or on the floor. Has anybody here experienced that? Yeah, okay, so, um, Ice cream is not the only summertime treat. Really, if we are gardening in Texas, we should be growing, in my humble opinion, butter beans, okra, and southern peas all through the summer because those are all great um, vegetables for growing in the heat.